Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby! Here we go! The Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Four Gates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich, at the Jacklich Law Group. Good afternoon from College Park, where Maryland takes down Syracuse. I'm Wayne Viner, Bruce Poser, special guest Tony Wheeler. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Bruce, what did you see? I, I saw 50 shots. I saw a much better offense. 12 goals on how many shots? Was uh, 29. It yeah. wasn't really great. I thought Dole was okay, but I got the doctor here of lacrosse, and that's Dr. Tony Wheeler. Tony, assess the game. David Bowie said, ch 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 changes. I mean, I think that's what we saw a lot of today. I don't know last time we saw so many Terps playing in in crucial moments. It looks like there's more injuries that are going on here. But I think for me, what it really was, was the defense really came out strong. You saw Brett Makar and Ajax Zapatillo really kind of neutralize Syracuse's attack, give the offense all the all the time and space they needed. So it's got a lot of scoring from a lot of different people. And I think that's why you see a, a 15 to 12 win. Uh, my big goal, Dante Trader, they beat the heck out of him. It was a football play, came down the right hash mark. He scored, he had two goals. One and one, and he scored on a behind the back shot. Slick little shot. I mean, that's kind of what he does. But he spent most of the game really quiet because Makar held him really in well, check. We knew that. We talked about that before the game, and we knew that this was not going to be a great day for him because, look, uh, Zapatella shut out Schellenberger last year. Uh, uh, Makar shut down Moore from Virginia. I mean, Spolina, one day he'll, he'll be able to beat them, or, but they won't be around. But I thought that uh, great job by the close defenders. And there was really no uh, John Geppert. Good game. Another long pole goal from Geppert. It was a juice goal. When he hit that goal, it was right yeah, before yeah, half. The Terps had two little spurts here. They had, uh, they scored two goals within 10 seconds of each other and then two additional goals in 15 seconds. And every time Syracuse pulled it back in, big transition. Weirman was dominant today at the faceoff X as well. And I think that 24 really 31 defense. Let's talk about the goalie. We got to talk about it. Well, but you know what? We're going to tease this. We'll pick up on goalie talk after this commercial break. We'd like to thank Viner Forgates and the big dog himself, Rick Jacklich, for sponsoring our post-game shows all year. We'll be back in College Park in a moment. Since 1991, Viner Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the D.C. metro area and around the globe. Use Viner Forgates for your next IT project. For your next IT project, call Viner Forgates at 301-251-2900 or on the web at vinerforgates.com. I think the first thing that has to be proved by the lawyer on behalf of any client who's injured their neck or back is that the client was hurt, and they were hurt in this accident. And even though they had pre-existing problems, the damage to this individual client is much worse now after the crash than it was before. We do that with pain and suffering witnesses. We do that with doctors that know the individual patient. All right, back on the field. This is up against the Maryland presser. Hopefully we'll get to see the Syracuse presser as well. Back to Bruce and Tony. What do you see, guys? Yeah, I think I thought I talked to uh, Petromal before the game. He was quietly confident, right? Now, you know, he didn't say we're going to win, but he said, hey, you guys are going to get the best shot from everybody. And I did say to him, Loyola, is phenomenal, and look what they did to Hopkins. I don't care what the final score I can't remember. Was. I think it was 14-8 maybe. Yeah, but, but that was, was never a game. Yeah. It was never a game. Uh, let's get back to Teddy Dolan. 
Uh, we were shrieking our shoulders a little bit. What'd you take of the performance? They gotta be fair to him. You know, first game. in in a lot of the goals, I, I didn't, I don't know the final two goals they they got assists, but I think their first ten goals, only one was assisted. A lot of it was just one on one play, shooting around defenders. There are some shots that you hope Dolan makes later in the season, um, but I mean, he was just kind of solid. He didn't have to do a lot today. Yeah. Uh, no, the, but like, it was a weird game with the. Three to nothing, three to three, seven to three. Well, it was like last year. Yeah, we same were talking kind about of game, that. almost the same identical score, but I just didn't like the way it kind of ended or the turnovers. And but you know what? We're so greedy. Let's take the W, right? Okay. Well, before we go into the presser, I want to ask about what you guys thought about the changes up front. Erksa comes in, plays the whole game. Murphy moves back to midi. What would you think of the offensive balance today? I saw a symbiosis between Murphy and Kelly. Who right. Danny, Danny, four goals, two assists. Great day today. Thank the you. offense seemed like it was better. Yeah, it was better. We had a good week of practice. Uh, the ball was moving. We just, hit, we just hit singles all day, and it worked out. Listen, was the team told to shoot more, not be afraid? We had, we had 50 shots. Yeah, we shot the ball. I mean, there's a couple that I would love to have back, but, uh, yeah, we just got to press the ball more. We got to trust ourselves. We got to be confident. We just have to hit singles, and we're better this week. So. I'm waiting, you to, I'm waiting for you to have an eight-goal day. Right? <laughs> I hope it's so. It's going to happen, man. Four goals, two assists. He's in the right place at the right time, and I challenged him. I want to see eight goals in one game. I think it was there today. Yeah, like, I, and I wasn't surprised to see a change. The Terps really needed someone behind the goal who could come out and win a matchup. They bring Erksa in. It opens things up. He's involved in the first two goals of the game, gets them out really early. And it allows Murphy to go back and do what he's really good at, shooting the ball. Right. Hey, so I got a question for both of you. So we played Syracuse twice. We beat him twice. Does Tillman continue or does he break it off? Well, we're here yeah, in Duke. I mean, we're here in Georgetown. We lost We lost to Penn today, yeah. but that's no great upset. And maybe but, the question is, does Gate want another two games with Maryland? Oh, I think he does. <laughs> I think they definitely do. But this game, uh, they neutralized Spillina, a lot of young kids. But Maryland, the face-off thing, and you know, Wehrman's back next year. He might say, let's take a year off, right. and then we're going to do it. we got to wrap this up because we have a post-game presser. Thanks to Tony Wheeler. The doctor, man. The uh, doctor. Mason. Fairfield. Is, Fairfield star right here. There you go. Mason's away from the camera today down in Jacksonville. We will catch you again after which Notre game, Dame. Mason? Two weeks. After Notre Dame. We'll see you then.